Hey guys, welcome back to the homestead. Today we're going to be doing some chores around the barn and we're also going to talk about why I have to hold this chicken for like 30 minutes and he's really heavy guys. Riley's out here with us. You'll see the goats and the dog running around too. Okay, let's go. Does he love you yet? I don't think so. And I'm just going to walk around and hold this chicken on my hip. And hopefully he'll love me soon. I don't have high hopes. I don't have high hopes. I still have a chicken. I don't think he loves me yet. Maybe if I bounce him like you do a baby when they're upset. He is getting heavy though. 
Even the littlest ones get put to work here. Hey, will you grab a stick? Grab a board. Grab a board or a stick. Pretty, pretty, please. Grab something. That one's too big. Grab a small one on the ground. We were down here in this stall uh, a few weeks ago on another video we did. And it's almost now 100% ready for the cow, except for a few more sticks. I don't think he loves me yet. Mama. He has calmed down quite a bit. He's not really fighting me. What, baby? Okay, you wanna go put it up? Okay, go put it where it goes. In case anyone's wondering, I'm still holding the chicken. And if anyone knows how to sew a chicken sling, I'd like one. So does he love you yet or not? I don't know. What do I do? Do I separate them? I mean, they will figure it out. But I feel like I need to stop them from hurting each other. You're walking between them, see what happens. Man, I don't want to die either. Mark, he's good. Well, that's what we get for making you walk all the way around, isn't it? I, I, I don't even know. Oh, they're over here. Mark, you whipped him. Okay, Larry. Mark. Okay. If you control Mark. You control him. There we go. Did you learn him? Mark, we're good, man. Okay. Larry. 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 Okay. Listen. Listen. You're good. Okay? Okay. Look up his mouth. Hi. I caught my chicken. I got him back. 
So I noticed some weird chicken town, so I go out to check on the other birds. Because we have our second coop, which has the other rooster in it. And Larry freaked out, and I couldn't get him back. And before I knew it, the chicken fight broke out. But, I mean, maybe that was enough to calm him down. Maybe he didn't attack me when I caught him the second time. Well, he's just happy to get away from Mr. Meanie Butt. That's a long Mark time. is a good rooster. He hasn't bothered us. We've had him for, I mean, it'll be two years this coming yeah. summer. The two years or one year? This coming summer. This. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's yeah. a year. So we've had him a year and a half at this point. And he's, he's sweet. I mean, he, he's friendly. You can friendly. hold him and pet him and he'll eat from your hand. <laughs> She's a little gun shy of this rooster, as you can tell. Yeah, I mean, she just walked up and tried to snuggle him. Yeah. When right. he's on the ground, she doesn't do that. why whoever built this didn't just use screws oh <laughs> apparently they did at least in two of them oh. okay now comes the fun part of spreading the straw riley you want to help Martha? <laughs> Jump! Go, 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 go. Okay. Alright. You behave, sir. We love you. We love you. Do a head count. <laughs> One, two, three, yeah, going to get some uh, cow feed, get his ration of feed and corn mixture that we're feeding him to finish him out. She's getting it out of the shop and she's going to come back around. We're going to walk this cow into the stall and uh, we hope it's as easy as we think it's going to be. We'll see. <laughs> Wonder if that was a bad idea. You come around?
What's the matter, baby? Momo. Momo. Look. She's right there, baby. You can't see him because I'm holding the camera. Here, Mama. Take the camera. Well, that went about as easy as it could have gone, even if he didn't want to come past the gate when I first opened it. He was being stubborn. But he came in, he's eating. When he first walked in, he started eating straw. I don't know. He's weird. I guess they're all weird because they eat weird stuff all the time. But he's in here. We're going to be feeding him a mixture of the cow grower or calf grower plus corn. The corn will help with marbling. And we're still giving him a lot of protein because it is winter. And even though he will be in here, which will help with how much heat he needs and has to use, um, we still want to make sure he doesn't lose any weight because sometimes cattle do that in the winter, especially when you're trying to finish them out. This is the first time we've done this, but everyone we talked to you said that was probably our best option. So that's what we're doing. As the corn cuts down, the feed costs a little bit. But he's taken care of. i got to fill up his water bucket here in a minute, and he'll be good till tomorrow morning when I feed him again. Because now without hay or grass, he's going to have to have more feed to sustain him. But he's taken care of for now. But guys, that's going to be all for us today. I held the chicken for, I swear, 45 minutes, but it was probably closer to 30. You've seen me doing all my one-hour chores. My arms hurt for holding. So if you can make me a chicken sling, let me know. But be sure to like, subscribe, and let us know what you think in the comments. We'll see you next time on Homestead. Bye, guys.